Hey lovelies, it's your girl Mila Sana. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I study using my iPad Pro. First things first, I want to talk about why I choose to study with my iPad Pro. I kind of wanted to go paperless only because it's super convenient and I'm left-handed and I don't like writing in notebooks that much because I always get the graphite smear. And I don't know if right-handed people go through it too, but I know a lot of lefties do go through it. And because it's just, like I said, really convenient and very easy and everything is just in one place. So let's get started. So the first app that I'm gonna be showing you guys is my GoodNotes app. And basically GoodNotes is an app where you can create your own textbook, your own notebooks and import your textbooks and PDFs and any other files that you wanna have nearby when you're trying to study certain information. So first I'm gonna show you guys my chemistry lab textbook. So these are my notes. You know, they're not too extensive or beautiful only because I just started not too I just started school not too long ago and I just started using these apps like two or three weeks ago, which is around the time I started school. But anyway, so I like to use the GoodNotes app because it's super convenient and it makes the writing ex experience fluid. And it has a lot of different settings to help you make the best of your notes. So, and so to organize my notes, what I like to do is I like to highlight in different colors, terms that I don't quite understand. And then on the side, I like to put the highlighted color that I use and write the definition of the term or something that'll help further my understanding of a term so that I know exactly what I'm referring to when I see that color and I see those words next to it. I know that it's talking about like in my notes, analytes or this counter ion. So in order to get your notebooks like this, it's so nice, it's super easy. It's really customizable. So you just go to new, create notebook, choose whatever cover that you want that you see here. I'm gonna go with the liquid one because it's super cute. And I always choose the Cornell paper only because like I showed you guys before, that has that margin area that you can write anything that you wanna write in it. And for me, I'm definitely a margin person. Like I like to write things. Like even when I'm reading, I need to write, which is why it's hard for me to read books other, that other people own because I write my questions. And I think that's because of my school, my high school, they made us annotate everything we read. And that I do them all the time, I'm not gonna lie, no. But for some reason now, whenever I'm reading a book, I just wanna annotate, I just wanna write next to it. Like my questions, my theories, my everything. It's just, it's strange, but that's just what I like to do. So like I was saying, you go to the paper and, or cover and you choose your cover and then you choose the type of paper you want. They have many different types. They have in different colors. They have the Cornell and like the cream color, the white color, legal paper, single column, and lots of the different options to choose from. And you can also choose the orientation of your Click create. You can also give yourself a title, click create, and then you can start taking your notes. So we're gonna be having the class that I'm gonna make it is imaginary for this notebook is uh, YouTube 101. 101. And on this app they have a fountain pen, which looks like this. The ball pen. And guys, I know they all look similar, but I promise they're different. Maybe if I made it a little bit bigger, I don't know why it's so small. This is the brush pen. It's like the way that the pen moves, the way that the ink is flowing is what's different. And so I'm a person that's more comfortable writing with ballpoint pens than fountain pens. Because I don't know, they make the lines too thick and I like the lines to be kind of nice and thin depending on what I'm writing. And they also have a really cool highlight feature. So if you want to highlight something in a straight line, and like I said, they have different sizes, it's like they do for the pens and pencils, you just highlight and it'll automatically make it a straight line for you so that way your highlights doesn't look like like that nobody likes that and the next best thing about this app is that you can import your entire textbook for a certain class into the app no i don't want to do that so here in files i have a neurobiology textbook and here's my textbook so whenever I want to wipe something in the margins, like as you guys can see, it gets pretty small. And basically all I have to do, erase that. All I have to do to get that effect is click the A over in the corner, which will kind of zoom in. And then I'll go back to my pencil, go to gray and make it small again and write. 
And as you guys can see, it pops up as I'm writing, so that's really convenient, so you don't have to worry about, because your hand will cover up that tiny box. And all you need to do to move the box is just take your finger and swirl it around the screen. And yeah. So whatever you write in the box, you'll be able to see almost immediately after it's completed up above, which I think is really convenient, but I don't want to keep that in my notes, so I'm just gonna erase that. And yeah, you can import the entire textbook. And I'm getting into stuff I haven't learned yet, but. The next best feature about this app is that you can print off your notes. Like say you don't trust the fact that they're on your device and you wanna print them off so you have a physical copy as well, because I'm gonna tell you guys, your iPads are gonna die. It's gonna die sometimes. So I highly suggest that you be able to print your notes off, which I like to do. And all you do to print your notes off is click the little box with the arrow going up to share it. And then you just click print and print, you can print your entire notebook or just print that page and voila, you have all your notes in person, physical copies that you can also add to. You can also print the blank pages if you want to, but I don't advise you to do that because it's a waste of paper. You can just write on paper. Um, and yeah, so that is how you use the Good Notes app. You can also use the Good Notes app for creating a planner. So yes, this is the Zania app. And as you can see, I like to organize my notes as far as like color and things like that. And here you can also import pictures. You see the little landscape icon at the top. And you can draw on this app as well. So before we end this video, I also wanna show you guys how to create your own journal. You can start with the basic page, go blank, grid, or whatever, choose your color, press continue, and boom, you have a journal. And to customize your own journal, you just press the little sticker at the top that's peeled back, and you can choose your own template, stickers, um, and different collections of like the months and things like that to make your video nicer. And last but not least, the last app I'm gonna show you guys is like a note-taking app. It's not like Quizlet. It, it actually is like Quizlet. It's exactly like Quizlet, but for me it's better because it's more personalized to you and your school and the courses that your school offers. So, Study Blue is the app that I'm gonna show you guys. And like I said, it's a new semester, so I don't have that many decks of cards to show you guys. However, I do have a few. So, this app is my favorite only because you can look up your class. You put the school that you go to inside of like when you're registering and basically it'll show you class, once you look up a certain class, like I looked up anatomy and physiology and it showed me my anatomy and physiology class with doctors, the same professor that is the same doctor that's teaching it to me now and it showed me the note cards. So if you go under share materials, you'll see this is what, these are the things that other people have created that you can also take advantage of. So if you go to chapter one, you can see that. And they also tell, it all, they also help you study by giving you options, like how many cards do you wanna study? Um, what do you wanna see first, the term or the definition? In what order? You can go in the least studied, random, or hardest to easiest. And I think that's super beneficial because sometimes you do need to 
shake it up. Sometimes just doing rapid flashcards isn't enough because you're gonna be lost, regardless. If you're gonna be, not lost, you're gonna get the answers, especially if you keep going in the same order in the same rhythm. So you definitely wanna switch it up every day. So this app is really good for that. You can also take different quizzes on the cards that you wanna study. It's all the cards, not really the ones that you want to study. But you can also take quizzes on the cards and figure out what kind of quiz you want to take. However, I do recommend choosing a quiz format that is not familiar to you, only so that it's the most challenging, so that when you're presented with a question in a certain way, you aren't too scared or confused when you see it. So, and then I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own cards. You just click make cards. You put the term here. I'm going to say bacon. Slice of meat from a pig's belly. I don't eat pork bacon. Or turkey, which is obviously better. <laughs> and then that's going to be your new flashcard. So that is how you use, that's how you create a flashcard. You know, you can put it in, once you click done, you'll choose where you want to put the flashcard. I'm just gonna choose anatomy and phys physiology and name it bacon again. And then once you click save, your bacon is now saved into you know, your flashcard. Those are all the apps that I use. Just to review, it's GoodNotes, Zamiya, and Study Blue. I probably make a vid part two of this video because there's still so many apps that I wanna share with you guys. Make sure before you leave, you comment any apps that you want me to try or any apps that you think helps you um, study or help with any type of academic advancement, even the science, it could be academic. It could be for your business. It could be to keep you organized. Just let me know any suggestions that you guys might have and I'll be sure to check them out. And before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.